and said, when do you use Tamiflu for a really bad cold? You don't ever. Uh, a really bad cold caused by rhinovirus or uh, paramyxovirus or parainfluenza virus is not going to respond to Tamiflu, which is an antiviral specific to the influenza virus. <coughs> Excuse me, influenza being sometimes very similar to a cold with chills, body aches, fever, usually headache, cough, you can have with it productive cough, shortness of breath, wheezing. You can have with it a nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Not necessarily. Not to be confused with gastroenteritis, often uh, referred to in the community as flu or stomach flu, incorrectly. Uh, it is not influenza. It is gastroenteritis. Or in our area now, Norwalk, or a norovirus, I'm sorry, norovirus, which is going around and causing a lot of vomiting and diarrhea and very unpleasant. Yes, sudden onset body aches. Thank you. Sudden onset from a number. When should you go and see a doctor if you think you have a flu or cold? When something's different. If you say, yeah, I have a flu or cold, go ahead and get over it. If you have shortness of breath, you're going, man, I, I can't breathe like I normally do. Or you have a fever. Or if you have any kind of uh, compromising situation like uh, you don't have a spleen because of an accident or born without one. Or if you have some kind of uh, respiratory disease like COPD, emphysema, chronic bronchitis, serious asthma. Anytime it's something out of the ordinary or, or severe uh, fatigue, please go see your doctor. Or anything else that you're concerned about that I'm not saying and you're concerned, go see your doctor. But if it's just a routine thing, you're a regular healthy person, you don't have anything else going on, I have a cold, write it out, use over the counters. Uh, it never hurts to call your doctor's office and say, hey, this is what I have going on. Are you recommending something? Or is there something going on in the community I need to check about? So is a flu serious illness? Flu can be very serious. Most healthy people can fight it on their own and they're fine. It's if these other things happen, if you're having shortness of breath, uh, fever is not responding to the medicines, uh, you're, you're feeling significantly more ill than you do just with an illness that comes and goes. Now, it may just be influenza and you, you may be prescribed antivirals like Tamiflu, uh, but for the most part, it's something that young, healthy people can have and, and it's no problem. Most of my audience would would do fine with influenza. You may be sick for a few days, lasts up to you know five, six days of possibly being out of work, which is why I recommend a unique group of people that most people don't talk about get flu vaccines in addition to the everybody recommendation, we kind of recommend it for everybody. There's one group, uh, it's not people over age 50, it's not pregnant women, it's not little babies, it's not people over age 65, it's not people uh, with some kind of chronic uh, lung condition or in a care facility. There's another group I also add to that group, I say, you might want to think about getting a flu shot, and that is the sole proprietor business person. Imagine me coming up thinking of that. Yes, sole proprietors think this way because if you're the sole, yeah, healthcare workers, thank you for adding that to the list. Somebody just keeps adding all these things I missed. Thank you. you you're good. Uh, sole proprietors, I tell people, hey, if you had to shut down your business or you weren't able to be there uh, to be with your employees uh, and that kept you from being able to make revenue for five days, would that cost you a lot? Then get a flu shot. How long does it take to recover from? And I couldn't read the rest because it went away too quickly. Sorry about that. So sole proprietors, in addition to that whole long list that we just went through, including the whole healthcare workers. So um, just like George Costanza, I'm gonna leave you uh, wanting more, leave on a high note. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I encourage you to subscribe to the Auburn Medical Group channel on YouTube. As we get more subscribers there, we'll be able to show uh, the people who make such decisions that it's worth investing more to get good healthcare information out to the public. Yes, you are absolutely welcome. And we will see you next time. Until then, this is Dr. Mark Vaughn and Dr. Gwen Vaughn, both in agreement, telling you to stay in good health.